Welcome in to the start of the Hobart Hurricanes and the Big Bash. Uh, I've got some good news to report. We're doing really well on the uh, Sheffield Shield, uh, surprisingly. Uh, we'll give you the table. We're in first place. Very tight uh, competition. Uh, we've won three games, lost one, and drawn two. But everyone is sort of around the same at the moment. Can we get an unlikely berth in the uh, final? That'll be the key for us when we go back there. So we'll play two games when we get back there, obviously. I've timed that pretty well. So we'll go over the fixtures and results that have led us to that um, performance. Disappointing quarterfinal, you're here for last. Um, we started very poorly um, against Victoria. Um, all out for 373 they were. 118 for Donald, 71 for Coates. Uh, five for Corey, uh, two for Anthony. Like, the bowlers done all right there to get them under there we only got 221 we didn't really bat all too well uh pattinson four for 44 bell two for and tremaine two for as well so we had to bat again um obviously and we scored 419 but we had a respectful score on the board to try and defend uh spence with 100 uh winters mcdermott and delaney uh 50s. McDermott's been given a go, um, like we haven't given him a real go in the um, seasons um, with um, the four day stuff. He's done all right so far. Tremaine, four for 91 there. And as you can see, Coates and Harris had a field day. Just blitz the bowling. 268 without loss after 51 overs. Enough said about that. So the next game was against uh, Western Australia. We got a draw, 427 all out they posted, thanks to hundreds to Renshaw and uh, Darcy Short. Uh, Rashid Khan back in the team now, back from international duty in the World Cup, 4 for 121, uh, 3 for 87 for Rickman. Fort Har, but we got a lead, 446. Pukowski, uh, 163, 50s to Wilson and Horn. The bulk of the scoring done from the top order. Stuart and Agar toiled away. Uh, they both got four wickets apiece. So we had a small lead. They declared at 250 for five. Renshaw with another 100. Uh, Bancroft 51. Hilton Cartwright uh, 48. Decent bowling performances there. We kept it tight anyway, so they didn't have enough time to get us out. 84 for two in response and a draw um, in that game. This is where it gets interesting now. Um, we won this game by six wickets. Bold beautifully in this innings, 196. Uh, 4 for 59 for Rashid Khan, 3 for 29 for um, Delaney, and uh, 1 apiece for Corey and Rickman. Hostess 334 in response, McDermott and uh, Delaney both getting crucial scores along with Bukowski. Uh, Stanlake 4 for 101, Christian 3 for 78. We had a good lead. We bowled them out for 256. Five is for Corey and Khan in this inning. Saunders with 105. Good to see him in form for the um, Hobart Hurricanes uh, season. He's played a test match as well. Uh, we chased it down. Fairly much a struggle um, to get this. Uh, just um, Winters um, and Spence got decent enough scores to keep us out of trouble there. And Horn and Durham have finished it off. So a good win. And we backed up with a crushing display over South Australia. I thought we played beautifully in this game. Bowled them out for 152. Uh, three for for Rickman and Corey and Rashid Khan. 467 we responded with. We batted really well here. Uh, Bukowski and Horn both getting hundreds. Um, good 50 at the top for Mooney. Uh, four for for Winter and Johnson. And Barnes tore away for his two wickets there. Uh, and they only could muster 265 in their um, next innings. Um, everyone bowled well again. D really good discipline um, from the bowling attack. Didn't really give anything away and um, a good result um, there. So we're on a bit of a roll. We had a draw with New South Wales. 388 they posted. Uh, Corey, 4 for 105. Bowling good this season. And uh, Rickman um, starting to get a bit better as well. Um, the only annoying thing was Kennedy with 99. Uh, there is just a really good cricketer for Ireland. That's that's an all-rounder as far as I'm concerned. 600, 1750s, and he's got 399 wickets. Just a, just an annoying cricketer to get out. And I found that um, when we were playing against him with Northamptonshire um, side as well, he was just annoying as anything. Only posted 247 um, here. That was a good rescue act from both Horn and Rashid Khan. They got us 
two, 247. Four for 76 for uh, Hazelwood. Uh, two for for Kennedy, Stark, and Nessa. So they had the back quickly. 266 for seven. Uh, 50s for the top three. And Colin, 49 not out. Five for Farishi Khan. Keep them in. Keep them honest. And we we batted sensibly here. The wicket was a tricky one to play on. So 314 for two. We're chasing 420 odd. I, we're quite safe there. Spence, 116, 12th, first class 100. Wilson uh, with his 9th. And Pekoski, 69. Really good. Like I said, the batting unit's really developing really nicely. And we, in the recent times, defeated Victoria by 10 wickets. Top of the table clash. Uh, 370 they posted. 100's to Donald and Hackney. Uh, 6 for, for Rashid Khan. And we... Responded with 412 ourselves. So we dug deep. Wilson with um, 130. Uh, McDermott 60. 50s to Corey and Rashid Khan. Uh, four for, for Tremaine. Always gives us grief. And Pattinson four for himself. This is where it gets remarkable. 175 all out. 10 for 61 for Rashid Khan. The man just absolutely had it. Had them in... All sorts of problems, and that's 16 wickets for the match for Rashid Khan, and that's a record um, as well. We chased that pretty easy, 134 without loss, uh, 76 for Spence, 53 for Winters, and that gives us our lead top of the table. Now it's big bash time, and now we'll go over the team uh, once I get to the um, fixtures and everyone's arrived. So here we go. Uh, we've signed some new players. Uh, Jamison and Boomerah, uh, trying to add a bit of X Factor attack. Some youngsters, Anthony from our setup and Duckworth. So we invest in that area. Um, Sam Curran's currently away um, with the English side, I believe, at the moment. Hopefully, we get something out of him. I've gone with a trusted um, individual that I had with Northamptonshire. Uh, signed a young player in um, Simon Barnes, who's done a wee bit in the one day scene. Got Malenko back. Didn't sign too much in the um, batting department. In fact, no one. But there's our team. Um, we'll be back with the um, opening team for the game against... Uh, is it Brisbane? Yeah, we'll be back with the opening team very shortly. Here's our team for game one. And a, a lot of changes um, from the previous season. So Saunders and McDermott are going to open the batting. Bukowski at three. Colin at four at the moment. With um, Obviously, we've got a few international players. Karen and Beckett. And uh, Fielding. Uh, Townsend at five. Um, we'll put Spence up one more. Uh, Anthony, Jamison, Stark, Flint, and Boomer. We've got a really good attack uh, here. I'm just hoping that adds a lot of X Factor in to our team. That really was lacking in the bowling last season. Just unfortunate the guys are a wee bit out of form. We are going to bat first on the surface. The opening games. Need a good start here. Just got to believe that these guys can do the job. McDermott. It's been a good form all season. Bloody shot from Saunders. Just want something for our very new bowling attack to defend. I reckon it's a really good bowling attack too. It's got experience. It's going to offer us huge, huge amount of benefits, I believe. Even though Mitchell Stark's at sort of the end of his career, sort of. He's still going to offer something with the ball more so than the others. And we've still got enough um, spots to develop two players at the moment as well. and So they will get their um, time in the uh, Hobart Hurricane shirt this season. But I want to do a lot better than last season anyway. Last season was very bad. Uh, I've lost a couple of wickets there. Come on, pick it up. Oh, brilliant bowling. 50 for 3. Make that 50 for 4. And Hobart are in trouble. Just need to get a partnership going. We've got Townsend got a few runs in this campaign. He's going to get a fair bit of a go. Because of our um, depth issues. Of course a few guys on international duty. So it's opportunity for him. Kofsky really has to get a big score now. One of our better players... Uh, been in the team for a while now, just 26 or 25 deliveries at the moment. Just need 
up a spark from someone. Anthony can bat, and so can Jamison. And even Mitchell Stark can provide something with the Willow. Can the New Zealander provide? Sort of struggling to get that score. We need 140. Out for 8 off 12 deliveries. Mitchell Stark at the wicket. Plus Bukowski. This is just an average batting display. Are we going to post something that is defendable? Nine off seven. Boomer to the um, crease now. 130. We're all out for 130. Disappointing batting effort, really. Like, we had a good start. Like, McDermott got out of the blocks reasonably quickly, and then it fell apart. Mirren bowled well. Four for 31. Yeah, just see what um, Bummer can offer. Jamison's got the wicket of Owen. A bit expensive though. Bummer, I think Bummer is going to add a bit to our campaign. Bring Mitchell Stark in. One over for 12. Flint gets the wickets. Anthony comes in, gets a wicket as well. Just going to keep taking the wickets, going to keep the field up, be aggressive. Corey's gone. Got to get to their bowlers pretty quickly. It's a good spell from Flint so far. It was very average last season. Got 96 for 8 now. Got to bring Bomber back. Got to try and get these last two wickets. 16. This is going to be tight. Oh, they're going to get it. They got it. Damn it. Keep, keep the field up. We... Played pretty, we bowled pretty well. We've got a good bowling attack, I think. But good, good work from Flint and Anthony. To get a good start for their campaigns. Boomer offered a bit with the ball as well. Just want Mitchell Stark doing a little bit more on Jamison. But I think they'll come to it. So next game, just want players back from international duty. Sam Curran would add so much to that order. Just with his um, batting and bowling experience. Like he's only 26 still. And he's, he's been in good form uh, for Surrey. We'll stick with um, Towns in there. We've got not too many other options. We'll stick with what we've got and just hopefully they can get some form. We've got Rashad Punt um, in their order. Any other internationals? Let's see, see how Rickman goes. We're going to bowl first. It's offering a little bit. Boomer. I think Boomer has been a good investment. Already he is making inroads early on. It's what we've been lacking. Boomer. I'm going to bowl Boomer out. I think being aggressive. Bring Flint into the um, attack with someone in form too. Anthony. It's been a bit expensive. 80 for 5. They are trying to counter attack here. We're going to bring Mitchell Stark um, into the attack now and just try and spread the field. Let's hope he can contribute. He's got a key wicket. Got bow. Good. Bring Anthony into the attack. It's going to be a good experience for Anthony this season too. Like he's just in his first season in all formats. Freaking um, Jamison. Who has been um, disappointing so far. But he's got a wicket here. He's got the wicket of Kelly. A couple of our bowlers. Good spell from Stark too. He's been very economical. Uh, we have to bowl Anthony here. He's got to restrict here. Might open with Flint and Boomer too, just with the um, bowling. Let's be super aggressive. We've got them all out for 135. Our Boomer is magnificent up front. If he plays the majority of the season, he's going to be a magnificent asset for us. He's 31 years of age, but he's at the peak of his powers. We've got Hopefully Rickman gets some form. He's played a T20 international this season as well. Very surprising, but they see the potential obviously in him. Not a very good run. We'll take it. Darum, it's gone. Koski. This is certainly gettable. Got to start the season reasonably well. Got to have some confidence. This is not a good start, guys. Just losing early wickets. 10 for 3 puts a lot of pressure on the order. Rebuild the innings and just make sure it doesn't get um, too out of control. It's going to take a wee bit of, um, oh no, come on, the batting's letting us down. 
bowl, the batting has done the job. Uh, the bowling's done the job, sorry, but the <laughs> the batting can be um, a lot better. I think uh, that's why Sam Curran's going to be a good signing, a very good signing indeed. Just add something um, in that middle water if we do have a collapse like this. So we don't have much batting. Um, like experienced batting. 46 for 4 after 8 overs. We need 7.5 and over. I'm just hoping Mitch Townsend can sort of hang around. Um, Colin. 49. 50 for 4. Um, board up in the 10th over. Lovely shots. Cool runs. It's got to be in the ballpark. So we're going at 5.8. 7.8 and over. It's Zampa. Old as Zamber, he must be a fair age now, like he's played a lot of cricket. 8.1 and over, it is very gettable if we get it close. Those four wickets we lost at the start really concern me. And I, what I'm going to try and do is keep um, Boomer on the team for at least a couple of seasons too. I think he he's going to add the element that I need to really get the bowling attack going. Had a miss. Runnable 23 at the moment for Mitch Townsend. It's good to see. Lovely shot down the ground. Four runs. 42 required or six. It is really gettable. Just need a boundary and over and just ones and twos. This is good from the young fella. He's had, had a boundary. 33 off five. This is start, we're starting to get control of the game now. It's good to see. Haven't panicked. Built a partnership. Lovely shot. Four runs. 62. That's really good from Colin. Just got to make sure we get home now. Oh, playing a miss. Young fella's best innings. Brilliant shot. Lovely drive. Gonna put McDermott under pressure in, uh, if he's got form going into the uh, Sheffield Shield, but I might pick McDermott because of his experience. Because uh, we are first, we're in an unusual position in that comp. Uh, three fours. And an all-time record partnership between these two. 132 for four. Lovely shots. That bring, brought up 50 for Townsend. And we have done it fairly easy. We coasted to a good victory. 106 um, run partnership there. So that, that was a good recovery. That's what we want. When we lose the early wickets, we um, recover. So we've got an early win in the season. I want the back up against the Sydney Thunder as well. We've got a good classy unit. We're going to change the bowling attack. I don't know how I'm. Bummer up first. I want a statement. Don't want them settled. Anthony's been okay so far, but I really need the value of Sam Curran. Well, Beckett, for example, who has played a lot of um, international cricket now. Love his experience. He's only got 150 in the format, but I believe he'll add something. So let's let's win this game. Let's get a good start of the competition. So we are going to bowl first. Bummer and Flint, I believe, are going to Spark us. It's a good start. Boomer. If he can do this on a regular basis, just get early wickets. Put pressure on the other team. I'll be very happy. Um, Kyle uh, Jamison now. One over for 20. Too expensive. I think Mr. Smith had got part of him. No, it was um, Connor Mirren. Cam Mirren. Bounce back well, Jamison. He's got the wickets. One over for 29 now. Anthony into the attack. Sort of fighting to recover this. Just want to keep them under a manageable score. He's been really expensive. Disappointing effort from um, Cole Jamison. Uh, Boomer into the attack. And there. 172 for four. It is gettable. Uh, Steve Smith, uh, 
contributing a very nice knock. He's sort of coming towards the climax of his career. He's been um, a bit out of sorts um, with the bat, but um, a good score there. Need our top order to fire. Hasn't started good again. But there is potential with this attack. I've got to make sure we get bowlers into form. Because if we can get Boomer and, uh, say, Stark into some form, it's, it's, a really, it's a really good bowling attack. Considering our bowling attack from last season was dreadful, we've really invested well in that area. And a miss. 33 for 2 after 5. We need 9.3 and over. Got to start picking this up. Amazing this guy's got some traction in his career. Chad Lind. I had him in my team to start off with. Just, he hasn't really offered much in his early stages of his career, but he may be a late sort of bloomer. That's why teams may be investing in him. Lovely shot from Pukowski. This could be this could be the over that we could just really up the ante. If we can get a 20 run over here. It just takes a lot of the pressure off for a wee while. Lovely shot. Six more. Yeah, interesting customer, Chad Lynn. Obviously played a wee bit of cricket for Queensland. He's bowled okay on the um, one day stuff. Need 8.9 per over. Need another big over. Need, just need a four off this to get the um rate where it needs to be at. Got over. Meanie into the attack. It's been greeted with a massive six from Mikowski. And another one. Got over this. Run rate's sort of manageable, but uh, just need to take someone to the cleaners. Good shot. Colin, 102 for 2 now. Lovely shot, swept. Yeah, if we can get that other, if we can get another good over, get it close to 6 runs per over. Spence is in. Know the ability of Spence, but he needs to start delivering. Really some performances with the bat. Very capable batsman. As, you, as proven in um, four-day cricket. And he's done it a wee bit in one-day cricket as well. So he's got to get it together for the big bash. Good from Koski. Swept for four. Oh, that could be out. It's a key moment in the game. Him out for 69 when he's really set. 46 required. Townsend played a good innings last game. Mr. S Calvin, Kevin Spence, a uh, man with a wee bit of experience under his belt, is a key component. But um, if we can take the over for green off for quite a few runs, we'll be okay. It's getting a bit of turn this wicket now, too. 29 off 4. It's gettable. Shot from Townsend. 6. And another one. So 15 off 3 required. 13 off 12. Just got to get a good over here. Boundary. Good stuff, Townsend. It's really cemented a spot in the lineup. This is a good wee cameo. Gone for 15 spins, but he played a role. Come on, just get the result. Yes, two wins. We did better than last season already in three games. Good performances from Pukowski, Colin, and T Townsend there. Really happy with uh, Mitch Townsend. Uh, he's taken his opportunities uh, that he's been given, so he's going to keep um, developing at the level. But that's a good start to the um, campaign. Really happy with that. Uh, we will be here. Um, again, very quickly, actually. We'll go and we'll play... I'll tell you what, we'll play the two games here against uh, Perth and the uh, Sydney Red. And then we'll be back uh, for the two Melbourne games and the Perth game. I think that sounds good. And, and we'll see you guys then.